I want to ask you about this alliance between you first, uh, Kellyanne, between John Kasich and Ted Cruz, this alliance, shall we say, that Donald Trump is calling collusion. Is this fair game? Of Are they playing by the game. rules here? Oh, absolutely. It's completely transparent. Donald Trump's tax returns aren't. I'd like to see those be transparent. We're talking about the word. But We're most people understand what it's in reference to. All right, so Kellyanne. I, I understand. I respect that. All right. I think that was a great try, Scotty, but <laughs> it's vulgar. And uh, this is the equivalent, really, in New Hampshire of Donald Trump skipping the debate in Iowa. It cost him votes. And I think people will think thrice now when they go into that ballot box and say, look, I've tried to send a message all along through Donald Trump to the establishment, but now i got to get serious about sending somebody to the White House. The voters, they thought very deeply about policy, and they have the reasonable expectation that the candidates have thought about it, too. And I think that's, that's actually something that could hurt Trump in South Carolina and beyond. If people start to see that he's not... He says he's for the little guy, but he's actually built a lot of his businesses on the backs of the little guy. And he's a lot of little guys through eminent domain or through uh -huh. not paying um, contractors after you've built something. The little guys have you know, suffered a barn bird of an article two weeks ago. Is They're starting to talk about victims of Trump University, victims of Trump in Atlantic City. Before that, it was his conservative apostasies. Now it's actually, you, you're for the little guy, but you've built your business on the backs of the little guy. Yeah. Look, it's one thing to hurl personal insults at somebody's wife, and that cost Mr. Trump dearly in Wisconsin and dearly in among women voters all across this country. Read the polls. Mr. Trump loves the polls. You live by the polls. You die by the polls. But it's quite another to accuse Ted Cruz himself and professionals who have been at this as long as you have, Ed, uh, practically, of, of committing a felony and breaking a law. I mean, we could just brush it off, but it shows you the danger of just saying things that aren't true. You can whine and complain all you want that you didn't know the rules and you changed the rules. And I would, I would also say there's an analysis today that Donald Trump's won 35 percent of the popular vote, but 40 percent, 42 percent of the delegates sometimes mm -hmm. already. So apparently they like the rule, they like those rules. You're going to look the viewers in the eye and tell them that it's a false report that Stone and others are saying we will publish that where your hotel room is. I didn't. We will say come that and knock false. on your door and threaten you if you don't support. Kellyanne, Trump. I is didn't that say, okay? I didn't. I never said that that report was false. We can obviously see that on a video we campaign that see, he was no, like, you know, we love from. to see Kaylee Donald Trump stand up and say, Roger Stone, cut the crap. Stop threatening people in their lives. That's not democracy. Well, I mean, you want to be commander in chief and president of the United States, president of the free world, you're going to be asked tough questions. But I have to just say, as a, as a pro-lifer with many pro-life candidates who are very disappointed, very pro-life causes are very disappointed today, they didn't need four or five times to get it right. They would have gotten it right the first time because the pro-life community is of one mind on this. You do not punish the woman. And let's be honest, Kaylee, Mr. Trump has gotten $2 billion worth of free earned media coverage so far, according to the Washington Post analysis recently. So if you live by the media questions, sometimes you have to die by the media questions. And sometimes it's just not a good day for the home team.